Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to Bloodborne. We are back in the forest. This is the village that we've been to several times now. I have taken the liberty of killing everyone here. Uh, that's why I'm a little covered in blood. Don't worry about it. We are venturing forward. Now, up until right about... Well, it's a few more steps. But... Uh, essentially, a few more steps forward was the farthest that I've ever been in this particular area. This is the guy who just does not like to be sta staggered at all, so we're just going to kill him flat out. Man, this weapon is good. This weapon is good. Uh, down that little hallway there it was a shortcut. But when I was doing the live stream that I had to do, remember I do want this playthrough to be as blind as possible, and for the most part it has been, but while I was doing the live stream with Rui and Globku, I got up to right about here, and I was like, yeah, this is this is the farthest I've been. And Globku was like, right here. Right here's the farthest you've been. And I was like, yeah, why? It's because if I... Okay, so right here was the farthest I had been. If I had taken two more steps forward, I would have started to see these explosions. And apparently, uh, they all thought I was going to die. But as I was walking up, I was like, hey, I'm going to take a screenshot. <laughs> I don't know what it was. was Rui was like, okay, I'm just going to watch. And I was like, and I stopped here and I was like, what? Do you want me to take my shirt off? <laughs> and then right behind me, there was a gigantic explosion. It was so funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, down here is a shortcut. This leads back to, I'm assuming these guys are alive. This leads back to a door that we can open. And it's just an easier way of getting back here. Uh, without going through as many potential threats, but we're not really in a situation where that's a problem. Uh, so essentially, you just have to run from cover to cover here. I figured this out instantly. The only time I was hit by the bomb was when Rui hit me with it, so don't worry. You're not missing out on any, like, huge, oh my god, Pally, I can't believe we didn't see your true reaction to this, because there just was not a reaction to this. I mean, it didn't, didn't bother me at all. Alright, so I did um, buy some more blood vials back at the merchant. I spent the remainder of my souls on it. Um, let's go ahead and kill a cannon guy real quick. He obviously takes priority, right? Ouch! So how do you aim this thing? I don't think you... Oh, that was pretty aiming. That was pretty aimful. You guys just taking a nap? How on earth do you fall asleep when someone's shooting a cannon next to you? Seriously! How do you do that? Dude, I can't fall asleep if my fucking fan's clicking too much. So that was the guy that was staggering me. Or that was not being staggered and was just beating the shit out of me. But it looks like with the sword you can stagger him. It's weird. That's weird. All right, so we're making our way into like a windmill, basically. Um, we need to go up. We need to go up first, I think. What's out here? This place is worth exploring. And I think this is the way I have to go. Maybe. Maybe. This does seem familiar. Oh, hello. I don't remember you. Yeah, if I was to sit there and just keep trading with him right there, he would have killed me. So we're going to back up. We're going to get out the big boy weapon. And uh, we're going to make sure he doesn't do that. Got any items for me? Thank you, friend. I don't think there's anything that way. Doesn't look like it. But, at the top of this ladder is a weapon that you need 30 strength to wield. I think this is it. No. No, not it. That's it, baby. Yeah, this is it. It's a fucking cannon! So instead of a ranged weapon... 
you would just equip this bad boy, and it's just like tied to your arm. If that isn't the coolest thing, I don't know what is. And then, then we're right back at the entrance, and then we go down. I think. I think that's about right. That seems about right. Cool. All right. Hello. Oh, oh, he turned into a snake face. Great, great. Uh, legitimately, this place freaks me the fuck out. I've seen it before, obviously, as we were running through, but, um, okay, let me explain why. I'm not afraid of snakes in general, um, but living in Florida, there's obviously a lot of venomous snakes. I used to say poisonous snakes, but the, oh god, but the comment section of, I believe it was a League of Legends video has set me straight. Uh, they are venomous. Because they deteriorate you without having to be ingested, I think was the reason. Anyway, uh, a lot of venomous snakes in Florida, a lot of them. And I've been preconditioned to when I seeing a snake going, oh shit, it's a fucking snake. And like taking a couple steps back, I think I messed this up. But don't worry, we'll come back. Because that's that's what you do. You don't know if it's something that could kill you within 20 minutes or if it's just, you know, a harmless rat snake. Or uh, the, the main one is we have these black racers who are, that are just black snakes. And then uh, water moccasins or cotton mouths, which are black snakes with white bellies. And uh, there's usually a second of, oh, fuck, while you're determining which one it is. Uh, so I've been preconditioned to do that my entire life. Now, once I identify that it's, it isn't something that's going to kill me. Oh, look at this. That's how you open this door. This is the door right by the, maybe I should go level up. Uh, that's a good idea. But hey, fuck it. We have 21 fucking blood vials. What's the worst that can happen? So once I identify the snake is not going to kill me, it's one of those situations where I'm like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. I'll look at it. I usually don't touch him. But, you know, I'll, I'll say, hello, Mr. Snake. And you guys should know me well enough by now that I legitimately say, hello, Mr. Snake. And uh, I let them go about their merry way. Now, if they're poisonous, I get venomous, excuse me. I get this fucking chill all the way up and down my back, up and down my spine. And I'm just like, oh, God. And I get the fuck out of there, as uh, any person should. Um, for some reason, even though, oh, fuck, oh, God, even though these are clearly just video game snakes, oh, God, dude, seriously, seeing a goddamn ball of snakes on the ground just gets me fucking going. Uh, it's, it's like everything, it's like everything my body, uh, my body's giving me all the signals to just go, nope. And get the fuck out of this. Mm. But I'm still walking into him. I'm still doing stuff. God, we're gonna get fucking poisoned, aren't we? Dude, there's just balls of snakes all over this place. It's disgusting. But yeah, people who like have pet snakes around their house or whatever, that's never bothered me at all. I'll just like, oh, look at that. And I'll, I'll hold it and stuff. Not a big deal. I don't know. I don't know, man. <sighs> and I can't even say it's a phobia, right? Because I can overcome it. Like in, in, in situations like that, it's not a big deal. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so legitimately we ran through the entirety of this location. I don't know where anything is. There was like five minutes left in the stream. So we wanted to see the boss before the stream ended for the viewers because we were having a lot of issues uh, getting it going. And I think I missed an NPC back just a little bit, but maybe he's up here actually. This is one of the snake heads. Don't be fooled. See? 
That has to hurt. I mean, what is moving your body at that point, right? Is it just snakes? Have uh, have snakes moved in and just eaten all of your bones and now they're just where your bones were and they're controlling your body like that? Is that how that works? Because it makes no sense. The reason I'm saying that is obviously because when the snake like protrudes through his skull, the snakes, excuse me, there's definitely a multiple, when they come bursting out of his fucking forehead, you know, they, they clearly have ruptured any type of, uh, they, they put it into any type of brain function the guy could have possibly been having, right? I mean, that has to be gone. There's no way. Uh, I mean, your body could be convulsing from, you know, death, but it's, it's not controlled movements. But... After they just push through that guy's fucking face. Hello? Did I loot an item there? Or is that just a guy? After they push through the guy's face, they're just like, hey, what's up? He just keeps moving around like nothing's going on. So that makes me think that it's like the equivalent to a tiny tiny alien in a in a person's skin suit. He just has his like control center going on. All up in the guy's cranium. Like Men in Black kind of stuff. I just assume it's just like that. But with snakes. And they're moving all of his arms and stuff. Like, instead of his bones and muscles moving his arms. That was a really long-winded explanation. Still finding items, though. Just kind of casually walking back and forth between the area. Tons of items, tons of snakes here, too. I've kind of gotten over the fear already. My body isn't, like, twitching uncontrollably anymore. I'm not, like, every time I see one, I'm not freaking out. What the fuck is that? God damn it. God damn it. It's always something, you know? You can't just have a nice walk in a fucking forest. It's always something. Yeah, I just thought of something. Are most horror movies set in, in, like, woods and stuff because it's scary to city people? Ouch. Because I was just thinking about it, and, like, being lost in a forest sounds terrifying. You know, the foggy, like, dense tree kind of forest stuff. But, like, I guess when you're in a city, there's a lot more places to hide from the scary guy chasing you. You're not as isolated. I mean... You could just, like, say you're in New York City, you could run into a building and there's a thousand, a thousand apartments just hanging out that you can, like, spend your time in, you know? But if you're in a forest like this and a scary guy's coming after you, fuck that! Oh my god! No. No. Die! Kill it! Kill it with fire! Oh my god. This place is the worst. This place is the worst. God, there's a ton of items, though. Oh, clear deep sea. What's that do? That was probably worth coming out here for. Uh, increases slow poison resistance. Well, that sounds fitting for this area. I'm trying not to think about how many souls I have on me right now. Uh, it's a lot. A lot of souls. Have I been this way? This place is starting to get confusing. Okay, we saw this item from down below. Okay. I was wondering how to get that. I don't think I went back there, did I? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe there's just not an item here. Alright, so this way. Dude, there's still stuff moving in like every direction. And now I'm really disoriented. There's more items here. Oh, fuck a bunch of that, man. Oh my god. Were you trying to push me down there? You dick!
Both of you had that coming. You're just being rude. Bloodstone chunk, that's something new. Is that the third tier? I hope so. Seriously, what the fuck? You know what I have to do though, right? Like, I have to. I'm fucking man moded it! God, I feel so manly right now. Just jumped off a cliff onto a, two giant balls of snakes and murdered them. Murdered all the snakes. Dude, there's seriously, there's way too many fucking snakes in here. Okay, so we're back on this path. Alright, I know where we are again. Oh, is that this? I thought there was like one more really big snake behind him that was shooting the long distance stuff. It was all coming from the same ball of snakes. That's some good damage. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Fuck, man. So what's this way? God, there's so much just... It's, there's just so much room here. Is that a pig? Oh! I'm so happy to see a something that isn't a snake. Dude, why is there just a pig hanging out over here, though? And then we got some fucking magic log bridge. God, this place is just like... It's fucked up, you know? There's more dudes that way? God, did... Oh. Hello. So, like, I'm usually really, really good with directions. My sense of... My navigational ability... God, that is a terrible sound. Is like top. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die! I don't know how to get back there at all. I don't know how to get back there at all. Oh no. I'm never gonna get that 50,000 back. Well. We know we go this way, at least. Um. Alright. Step one complete. You know, I just thought of something. This place is going to be even more confusing this time along. This time around. Because the last time I was going through this place and I was just looking for items and the items were kind of guiding me through. This time we've gotten the majority of the items, or at least I think we have, as I see a fucking item right here. God damn it, I hate this place. I don't like this place at all. Apparently I missed an item on the ground right here. It was a deep sea rune. Or something. If you're wondering why my guards have changed all of a sudden, it's because this stuff has the highest slow poison resistance that I could get. I think this is where I died, right? Maybe? Kinda looks like it. Then again, this whole place just kinda fucking looks the same. I do remember doing this. I don't see anything with glowing eyeballs, though. And souls on the ground are so hard to, like, find in this game. But I haven't seen a pig yet, and we definitely killed a pig. Uh, 
We didn't drop down, right? Went this way, maybe? Dude! Well, we haven't been up here. Maybe that's where I died. God, this place is just so confusing. Is that the equivalent? You summoned these things? You just whistled and they came? That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Number one, because I don't think you have the muscle like integrity to whistle. Okay, we found the pig. All right. Everyone's favorite part. Oh yeah, yeah buddy. Hey, look who it is, Mr. Glowy Eyes. You fuck. Okay, so I was actually going back towards where I believe the entrance was to find him. And there's just another path this way? Dude. Okay, so wait a minute. That was the path I just took to go back. So we're going to go this way. I'm tired of going in circles in this place. Which I think I may have just done... Again, a little bit. No, we're good. We're okay. We can just drop down here. I guess there is a path that leads down here. Hi, snake face. And I'm just letting him beat me up, too. Almost died. So good at this game. Well... Uh, clockwise metamorphosis. Of course the gate doesn't open from this side. I mean, why would it? And of course, this is a dead fucking end, isn't it? <sighs> wow. Wow. Well, we're up really high here. I think I'm back over where that pig was. Dude, I, I guarantee you the only reason the pig's there is to add in a fucking landmark. Okay, so we need to go down. We clearly need to go down. Remember fall. Can we really fall that far? Oh, we totally can. It looks like there's another path, though. So that's a shortcut. You cross the pig, and then you fall off the ledge. Could you imagine giving on someone directions at a fucking gas station like this? Yeah, so when you, when you pass the big pig in the snake-infested forest, what you want to do is you head to the ledge, and then you fall off. There's going to be another ledge that's going to catch you. And then you're good to go, man. Like, what the fuck? Hello. Stay right there. Was not ready for that. Dude, that pig is worth 2,000 something souls. Oh, look at that. A fucking item. God, I hate this place. I just do not like this place at all. You know what bothers me too is there's an item at the beginning that I thought we got. But it's still there. It's still there. It's still there just teasing me. Oh, this looks like something different that I've never seen. What is this? God. 
God, it just it just keeps going in here. That's a weird noise. Oh, hello. Oh, you're fast. Goodbye then. What the fuck? So, I found fungus people. We did find one of these guys in the clinic, right? Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Oh, shit. It's like the opposite of the one we found earlier. I love the sound these guys make. Dude, I could totally fall asleep listening to this. That would be soothing as shit at night. Someone just needs to make a... 12-part cassette <laughs> with the sounds of the Bloodborne Fungus people. You can buy it now at the special price of $19.99. But don't wait, there's more. We'll throw in two copies of our however many <laughs> number cassette track for you and your loved ones to enjoy. <laughs> I'm so good at marketing. Oh my fucking god, I died again! Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, I died again. 84,000 souls on my body and I died. Alright, you're gonna come to the forest. What you wanna do is you wanna run deeper into this. Every part of your body is gonna be telling you, whoa, don't go that way, is gonna be telling you not to do exactly what you're doing right now. But don't worry, I'm an old man at a gas station, I know exactly what I'm talking about. You're gonna find a road. You're gonna follow the road. Make sure that you lock your car doors because there's some shady ass motherfuckers in this part of the hood and you don't want them to bother you. You're gonna... I've never seen that before, ever. You're not going to go towards the thing that looks like a pile of roots under a building. You're going to keep going forward and then veer left. You're going to see a gigantic snake. And this is when you know that you haven't gone to the right spot. And what you want to do is not fall off any ledges. What you want to do is just go back the way you came, probably. That's probably the, probably the best thing you need to do. Then, don't worry, I know you're a little shaken by my old man, gas station, like directions right now. That's part of the process of getting to your destination, good sir. Alright, fall off the ledge to the left of the bid snake, and then continue down the path. Uh, there's not much of a path there, you really just have to use your imagination. If you keep running forward, you're going to fall down again, then you want to turn left and go up a small ramp. When you get to the top of that small ramp, you're going to have to fall down again. They didn't have any idea what they were doing when they were making these roads. Don't fucking die. Oh, do not fucking die. That's right, sir. You don't want to fucking die. Okay, so you go to the right after that. Uh... All right, I'm just fucking lost again. I was trying to give myself verbal directions back to where we were. Wait a minute, you take a right, and then you'll find some water. If you go left, you're just going to find a bunch of fucking mushroom addicts. You don't want to go that way. Go to the right, and then you will arrive. Wait a minute, where's the guy who has my souls? You'll arrive at your destination. Well, I arrived at my destination. But where's the guy with all my souls? Oh. There's the son of a bitch. I'm not taking any chances this time. Die in a fucking fire. Okay, so this is some completely different place. What is this? This is another shortcut. Okay. Great. Where does this shortcut lead? This is in the giant windmill. Okay. Oh man, this is, this place is something. It just keeps going. 
So from the giant windmill, I come down and I follow the path. And then I take a left. And then you just follow this, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Good God. This is one of the most confusing places I've ever seen. Easily. I think it's because there's hardly any fucking defining features. Dissipating lake. Or whatever it said. Is this where I need to be? There's another pig, for some reason. Hello. Okay, up or down? Let's go down. Let's go down. Down's where the boss is. What's up? That's definitely a boss area. You can tell it's a boss area without even seeing the bosses. Without even knowing the bosses are there. Oh, good. Oh, and I found the shortcut back to this dude. How do I get back to this dude? I have no idea. But you know what? We found a shortcut back there. So, up ahead is a lovely pair of bosses. It's actually three of them. And they're probably gonna fucking kill me. They're probably gonna fucking kill me. I've only seen this fight one time. I've only attempted it one time. And that one time, I did die. So, uh... Here goes nothing. Hello, gentlemen! I'll definitely be going for the mage first if I can. Basically, I'm just gonna be rolling in, getting a pot shot, and then rolling out until the mage is dead. That's my strategy. Or I'll fucking die! Oh, oh, I don't want it. I don't want to die. I don't want to lose 90,000 souls. Oh my god, I found it. Oh my god. Okay. So the boss is just this way then. Okay. Okay. So the plan... Is get the souls, get the fuck out. Step one complete. Step two. Oh no. Uh. Step two. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is. Fuck. Complete. 